Hi Libra, this is your reading with me for January, February and March 2023. We are going to look into love, money, career, friends, family, obstacles and your energy as well uh, for each of these months for the new year. I hope you are doing well um, and also I just wanted to mention as well that if you wanted to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do giveaways every single month. Um, there is also the free reading giveaway which is um, in the description box below if you wanted to enter that. Um, there is also the um, personal tarot readings with me if you wanted to purchase any of those so there's the personal readings there's the intention items and there's also services with me for different areas of your life like love protection money uh, studying black magic energy removal and there's also of course the intention items which thousands of people have seen results with the review section is at the bottom of my website shopmoonlightguidance.com so everything's on there and also listed down below there's bracelets necklaces anklets pom-poms tassels embroidered cards which you can put under your pillow wallet to your purse sage bundles candles teas and so much more for different intentions okay so that being said let's begin with january Okay, Libra, that went flying right towards where I was going to put it. Okay. Okay. Don't be scared when I tell you any of this. Um, not that I'm trying to like emotionally invalidate you in any way, shape or form. I'm not. Um, it's okay. Okay. Um, it's not a terrible reading or anything like that. This is January that we are on. So we will have more progress as we go through February and March. In regards to love, I feel here that there is someone that is rejecting you, okay? And this person is starting to feel really bad in regards to rejecting you. So the Four of Cups here shows, you know, showing disinterest, not really responding to you, not responding to your text messages, your calls, um, not really being very proactive towards you. And it really just makes you feel very hurt, upset, sad, okay? And then I see that you will start to kind of just kind of accept the situation and then you can kind of become this person, you know, you're kind of in your own energy, you're taking care of yourself, self-soothing, and then boom, this person now, the, the energy is basically reverse. So the tables turn, things change, 180, they really do because now this person wants to talk to you, they want to, you know, they want to apologize for their terrible, terrible behavior. So what you will find in January is someone that is not nice to you um, in that sense, quite dis uh, just showing some disinterest basically and just not doing enough, they suddenly then feel bad. They feel bad for how they've treated you and then they come, they, they try to come towards you again. So just know that that is something we see here. In regards to money, you know, I feel here, especially with the seven of ones and the five of ones is that you can feel very confused as to why money is not as strong in your life. So you can feel really confused, frustrated, upset, like, oh, you know, money is just not progressing in my life the way I want it to. Um, it can feel so frustrating and so overwhelming. I feel like you will try and search for, you know, lots of ideas and you will try and do as much as you can for yourself. And ultimately what I do see here is that you will, um, you're going to find some ideas, okay? So we'll look into February because I feel like um, in January, you know, you will have some interesting dreams and you will start to gain ideas and perspective and inspiration on what you actually want to do in order to grow your finances. So I think that, you know, obviously in January, you can feel really frustrated with this particular aspect, but um, I think it's worth going through the reading and I think watching until the end so that you can kind of see what February and March also brings to you because remember things are not just straight away done right there is process that happens over weeks uh, days you know even months in order to get to the place that you want to be in so just because we don't see it in January doesn't mean it's not there in February or March um, so for career in January we have here the Empress and the Page of Wands you feel like you're doing the right thing but it's not generating enough money. I think that, you know, you feel like uh, you need to be doing more or you need to be overworking yourself. But then you think to yourself, I can't be overworking myself. Like, that's not right. So, you know, in terms of career, you feel like 
you know what you want to do, you're so passionate about it, you know, because that's Venus energy, you, you know what you love and you want to do that, but then you think to yourself, but it doesn't make enough money, okay? So there's a real sense here of you knowing what you want to do, but then feeling like it doesn't generate enough for your lifestyle, your expenses, what you want to do to live comfortably. So we'll look into that in the following months. Friends and family wise, they are kind, they are caring, they are there for you. They are supportive um, from what I'm seeing here. They are loving, they are trying to help you and uh, they are there for you. They've got your back. Um, so there are specific friends and family members that are just there for you and absolutely supporting you. In terms of obstacles, I think the main thing here is uh, financial stability and balance in regards to money and uh, you trying to find a way through that because you know what you love to do, but you want to allow that particular thing to generate more income. And that's your main obstacle is thinking about that. And also, of course, feeling frustrated that this person romantically who you were doing a lot towards is not romantically given to, giving to you in the same... Um, mutual way but then they do right so that also then becomes a lot more mutual this person who was not so mutual towards you and rejecting you now they start to be much more mutual throughout the course of january as well um, so those are your main obstacles here um, mainly to do with money and also love your energy here you know you feel sometimes like you are just stuck at a dead end you don't know what to do but then you think to yourself wait a second no there has to be, you know, where there is a will, there is a way. So there has to be something that does progress and come together for me. And that's that's what I see is that when you are resting and you are, you know, in a very peaceful state of mind, that's when your best ideas come towards you. So don't ever feel like those ideas won't come. They won't come to you when you just think to yourself, it's over, nothing's going to happen. This is life. This is boring. This is terrible. Universe is against me. Nothing flourishes in those energies, right? So try and meditate, try and, um, for example, you can pray, you know? You can pray, meditate, look after yourself, you will find those ideas, okay? So let's see how we go into the following month of February. All right, so let's see, Libra. February, love. Let's see. I'm smiling. You know, all of those um, worries and fears and challenges. Let me just grab this card. <laughs> worries, fears, challenges that you had straighten out. They iron out. It gets better. It does. It does. I had a feeling. I was like, you know what? Don't get hung up on what we see in January thinking that it's your entire life. I know that when people see certain readings, they just think like, oh, that's going to be like that forever. It's it's not, it's not. There is a process, right? There's always a process to things. Um, you know, and you realize that in time. So trust the process. That's actually your affirmation for this reading is, I trust the process. Comment it down below if this reading resonates with you so far. Try and trust the process. I know it's a little bit difficult sometimes it can be very challenging sometimes you will get there I promise I do okay right righty ho February Okay, so look, in terms of your love life, you know those obstacles and challenges you faced with that person that was being quite dismissive towards you? They seem to be a lot more proactive towards you. Through their own personal obstacles and challenges, they are trying to pursue you. They are trying to communicate more with you and be a lot more forward and um, moving things along with you and really just telling you like, hey, let's meet up, let's do this, let's talk. Um, they will be very, very persuasive and in a pursuing mode towards you despite the challenges and obstacles we saw in January. Okay, that's really, really lovely. Like they're very attracted towards you, you know, and they're trying to get through their, their issues and struggles and past fears and, you know, the things that really just made them basically reject you. They're trying to work on those things for sure and be a lot more proactive. Then we have here in terms of money, we have got the world card and the 10 of pentacles. 
this is so lovely because you know the world card and the ten of pentacles in regards to money here shows you coming up with a really wonderful idea on how to monetize what you love to do okay because you know what you want to do career wise um like you roughly know that you want to do something that you absolutely love but then you're trying to monetize it you're trying to make money from it you're trying to allow it to give you stability and i feel like you found a way to do that and someone here from your family has actually given you some form of idea and that's what I see money wise and it just makes you feel really really good um, for some of you you know you may have applied for a specific job or um, if you're trying to set up your own business and let's say you applied for a loan or you applied for something I definitely see a lot of success because it shows money it literally shows money um, in order to help you and support you in regards to your dreams Okay, career-wise, there you go. Okay, we got money and financial stability. You finally found a solution on how to do something that you loved while still having a good amount of financial flexibility and stability for your future because doing what you love in life is just such a beautiful thing and it is, it is wonderful. You know, it really is. So we've got here friends and family. Okay, there's, there's a specific friend who could be a little bit more... Um, held back in their own energy because they've got something that went wrong in their life and they could have gone through some kind of heartbreak so they may not be able to be as forward or as communicative towards you as you would want them to be but at the same time they're going through some kind of hardship in their life so um, I just want you to know that you know it could be that you then reach out to them and you talk to them and it just makes them feel better but so there's definitely a friend here that's going through a really difficult time emotionally um, but aside from that you know you're trying to be there for those that are you know loving and kind to you so just keep keep a little look out on that friend I think that they genuinely do care about you but they're just not able to be there for you um, this month because of something they are going through. Um, so, you know, don't take it personally if they don't show up to something or they don't communicate with you in the way that you usually communicate with them. Just ask them if they're okay. Um, you know, because I, I think that you genuinely do care about them, but then sometimes you wonder whether you should reach out to them or not, or if you're being too much towards them. It's okay to like absolutely ask them if they're okay because they're going through something. Okay. Obstacle wise, King of Swords. Um, well, the good news here actually is that, you know, in terms of your passion and making money from your passion, you found, you found the code, uh, you found, you know, you found a key to the lock. Um, and then also in regards to the King of Swords, the person in regards to your romantic life where things were a little bit all over the place, that seems to iron out and become a lot better. So actually, um, the obstacles don't really exist to such a degree, which I think is really, really nice. I think the main thing here is that you're just trying to figure out, you know, romantically whether this person is, you know, stable enough for you, whether they are strong enough for you, whether they are loyal enough for you. And, um, you know, I think that because they're being quite proactive, you will see that a lot more that they are trying. Your energy here is quite nice. You know, you're feeling stable, you're feeling good, you're feeling happy, you're feeling like you finally know how to live your dream and you're on the path towards doing that um so you know things really do change 180 degrees especially from where you like literally thought like oh my god you know can i even do what i want to do to then being able to find a technique and a solution to be able to do it you know from having someone who literally was rejecting you to now them apologizing and being proactive towards you this is 180 you know it really is a 180 the tables have turned they have things are getting better they 100 percent are for sure okay so let's now go to march it seems to me like your year just is getting better touch wood oh my gosh we still have march to go we still have march to go Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. I'll be putting out the uh, April, May and June readings when we get closer to April. I love doing the quarterly readings. I really do. Okay. March. They just came out like seamlessly, really beautifully as well. Okay, so we've got love. Um, 
So this person that was being a bit proactive towards you, they seem to go a bit more into their shell. Now, it's not actually because of you, and that's the thing. Um, they've been left out of some kind of event or gathering or some kind of friendship situation thing, and they just feel so sad that they got left out um, because they're really trying in their life to be like forward and proactive and I think that you know then they just kind of keep to themselves and they feel frustrated but it's actually got nothing to do with you they're actually keeping to themselves because they got left out of something that they wanted to be a part of and their friends didn't invite them to this particular thing so you know seven of wands are a little bit hit and miss towards you um they still come towards you you know despite these challenges they still talk to you but you might just feel like their energy is a little bit off so just um being there for them and communicating with them they will open up to you about um you know this uh not so nice energy that they've been going through let's just get a clarifying card i don't think they're gonna like leave you you know they just feel bad about a situation that they wanted to go to which didn't work out for them yeah see they're still going to come towards you it's just that they their energy might not be as high vibrational or as as proactive as it always has been towards you um especially in february okay um so march you know they can just be a little bit more quiet but still you know talking to you but just keep that in mind it's not because of you it really honestly isn't it's because they got left out of something sadly yeah, and then they, you know, keep it to themselves. So money-wise, four of cups and the ten of cups, you will realize why you got rejected for certain things in regards to money was because there were certain things that were supposed to come together. Now, you know, that's exactly what March is showing is that if you've been rejected for certain things, money and career-wise, it's because there is something bigger and better waiting for you. Um, you know, you will be able to live your passion and support yourself and, you know, family and just live your life. But, um, there's an opportunity here that is going to blossom and bloom for you and you will realize in time why you were denied of certain things in your life. That that particular message is something that you will realize when it happens for you in your life. I mean, I could try and explain it in a million ways, but when it happens for you, you will realize. It's a little bit like, you know, getting rejected for something that you really, really want, but then in time realizing that you have ten, something 10 times bigger and then you think, ah, oh, no wonder that thing didn't work out. That's what you're going to feel. Okay, so career-wise, we have here the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. So even though you've cracked the code of knowing what to do, um, you know, in your career, there might be an opportunity or an idea that you have that kind of gets denied, basically, but it means that it's because something better is going to fall into place. So try not to get too worried about this. If you come up with an amazing idea and then they say, no, or if it doesn't work out, for example, it means that there's something bigger and better. So try not to stress it. Try not to. I know it's easy to stress it, but try not to stress it because things are going to get even better for you. Okay, family, friends wise, we've got here some good stability. Um, there's nothing major to report here. Friends and family, they seem to be there for you. They seem to uh, support you, understand you, respect you. What more could we ask for? I think that's that's beautiful, beautiful. Um, that friend that had issues, I think she's, he or she is feeling a lot better from what I'm seeing. Obstacle wise, we've got two strong figures here. We've got the king and a king. So there's two people, okay. Um, well, there's one in terms of your career who could reject not an idea that you have. And then of course there's the person romantically, whether they are male or female, I read energies in tarot, not specifically genders. Um, if I see a gender, I will tell you, or if you see, if I see like a, a more masculine or a feminine energy, I will tell you. But um, yeah, these, these people here can just make you feel a little emotional, a little frustrated at times. But again, in time, you will realize why you know, the whole situation in regards to your career happened in the way that it did. In terms of your energy, okay, you can feel a little confused, but it will all make sense. And that's what I'm trying to say is that this um, month is about you being catapulted in a way where, you know what, there are certain things you might think you really want, but the universe really knows what you want. So if there are certain ideas you have, um, yes, they can be good, but they may not be the best, right? So the universe will give you better um better ideas that can actually give you more success in the future. So that's why I think that the April, May and June quarterly reading will give you a lot of information actually on that and it will kind of tie everything together from what I'm seeing. So this is your reading, okay? Um, and this is this is what we, what we see. So of course, if this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description box below for information on personal services, free reading giveaway, and of course, intention items which are on my website. And I have TikTok and Instagram as well. All right, take care everyone. Bye.